It was in 1999 that I once again became interested in total ankle replacement. It had been almost 20 years since ankles really had been tried and they had not been overly successful. It had a high failure rate and we just didn't think there ever would be a model that would really uh, work for our patients. But the star ankle surfaced in, from Europe uh, in the 1980s and Dr. Mann and I decided it would be worthwhile to attempt to introduce this to the United States. Heretofore, the major treatment had been ankle fusion in which the talus and tibia are fused together. Ankle fusions were done quite commonly in the 1960s and 70s and they continue to be a good operation. This is where we take the tibia and the talus and we fuse them together and it unfortunately gives away some motion. There is some motion in the rest of the foot, but it does stiffen that joint. An ankle fusion is still a very bona fide and good operation, but we felt that for certain patients that an ankle replacement was a very viable alternative. You need to be an orthopedically responsible patient. That is a patient who will take care of the artificial ankle. One can't expect to run or, or jump on an ankle replacement, but on the other hand, uh, can you golf? Yes. Can you hike or walk? Yes. Can you be aerobically fit, bicycling and swimming? Of course. We found in our FDA study that the ankle replacement had less pain than fusion and um, that there was much better motion uh, and this allowed people to walk better on inclines, to go upstairs and to go down slopes. So a total ankle replacement is a possibility for patients, but we're very selective in who we think qualifies. One has to not weigh too much. One has to have the right attitude as far as what you're going to do and not do. Um, we found that people with neuropathy or with diabetic neuropathy are not good candidates. We find also that sometimes injuries to the ankle cause arthritis and sometimes that bone is not very good bone, so it requires high quality bone as well. The evaluation process is important. Not everybody we feel qualifies for an ankle replacement and in those patients bracing or an ankle fusion may be desirable.
chance at success. So if we flash forward to your ankle replacement and, uh, and you're now probably six years or so in the range of six years since your ankle replacement and tell me how you're doing and what kind of things, activities you're doing at this point. You know, I really feel like I can do almost anything. You told me I wouldn't be able to jump out of the back of a pickup. Right. <laughs> and I don't do that. But I, I ski, I golf, I've been hiking. Um, I can do a, a lot of things that I don't think I could do before. And I don't have, the only time I probably have pain is if I stand on it too long or, you know, I do something that probably would have caused pain normally. <laughs> well, you were telling me that uh, you just went hiking recently. How far did you go? I think I went five miles, and I just thought I was, I, I really thought, how can I go this far? My ankle's not going to last. And it wasn't my ankle that hurt when I got back. It was my legs <laughs> that hurt. So that was, that was very encouraging. It that, really was. That's super. Um, that's one of the things in our long-term study we found out on the STAR was that um, if you just walk on the level ground, um, it's hard to tell an ankle fusion from an ankle replacement, but if you walk up an incline or down an incline, it's very hard for an ankle fusion, but having that motion in your ankle really helps you to navigate the slopes and so forth. I've really thought how lucky I am, because I've watched some people with the fusion, and I really think I made the right decision. I, I do. I, I think I have trouble a little bit sometimes golfing on a hill, but not walking on it. It's yeah. just my balance, and I, I work on my balance. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for talking to me about this. You're welcome. <laughs>The STAR ankle is a third generation total ankle design. This is the first design made available in the United States that has a central mobile bearing. Previous designs were two component designs as in this example and these total ankles uniformly had a poor track record. The three components of the STAR ankle incorporates a flat tibial base plate, a central polyethylene mobile bearing and a dome-shaped tailor cap. These designs are designed for minimal bony resection and for maximal bony ingrowth. The tibial base plate incorporates two cylinders that are placed from the front to the back of the tibia to allow for bony ingrowth. And the talus component covers both the medial and the lateral sides of the talus and it houses a central fin to anchor it into the talus bone. This design allows for natural and unrestricted motion of the talus upon the tibia as the ankle dorsiflexes and plantar flexes. Now the design of the total ankle arthroplasty, the rationale behind it is to replace the painful and arthritic ankle with an artificial ankle, thereby decreasing pain, yet maintaining the motion of the ankle joint. We appreciate your time and attention to this educational 
video. We think it's very important for you to understand the pros and cons and, and what can be done orthopedically both from a surgical standpoint and from a conservative standpoint. And we look forward to you contacting our office for further questions or an appointment.